Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be doing fractions. Okay everyone, I've taken my cake out of the oven, and now I'm going to use a knife to just cut it into different fractions, and we're going to see how many you know. Okay, now, with my cake, if I leave it how it is now, I'll have one whole, which I can't write down as a fraction, so it would just be the number one. Now the first fraction that I can cut my cake into is a half, so that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to try and get it as central as I can, right in the middle, and I'm just going to cut my cake into two equal pieces. So now that I've cut it into two pieces, if I separate it, you can see that these two pieces are very similar in size. Now the next thing I can do is cut them again to make quarters. So with a half, that would be one over two. Now I'm gonna cut it into quarters, which means I need to turn my cake and cut it exactly the same, but this way, so I'll have four equal pieces. So now, you might know that I have one half and two quarters, which makes one whole. If I keep cutting it, now I've got four quarters, which is four equal pieces, which still makes one whole. Now, no matter how I cut this cake, it's still going to be one whole because I've still got one cake in front of me. Now I'm going to cut it one more way and I'm going to make eighths. So if I cut these in half now, I should have eight equal pieces of uh, eight. So I've got four eighths at the moment and two quarters, which makes a whole. Now I'm going to cut it one more time. And I should have eight pieces. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eighths. So that's written as one over eight. Now I'm going to frost my cake now. And you can frost it however you want. I've made a nice chocolate icing. I'll put all of the recipes I used in the description. So I used a chocolate cake recipe and a chocolate icing recipe. I'm not going to show you that bit, but I am going to move on to the rest of the fractions. Okay, now before we start with any maths, I'm just going to show you how you can make your own fractions resources. So I've got one piece of coloured card. If you want, you can use more to make more resources. I've got a circle tin I'm going to use to draw a circle and then make fractions out of. I've got a pen to mark where I'm going to draw. I've got a ruler to draw some straight lines and some scissors that I'm going to use to cut out my shapes. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make my first resource is I'm going to use my circular tin and I'm going to place it on my paper, on my card, and I'm just going to draw around it so I have a perfect circle on my page. And then after I've done that, I'm going to divide it into different fractions. So, I've got one circle now, and the first thing I'm going to do is make a half, just like I did with the cake. I'm going to try and draw a line right in the middle of my circle. I'm just going to measure it so I know how long it is, and then I think I'll know where to draw my half. So, I think I found the middle, so I'm just going to draw a straight line down the middle. So that is about half of my circle. So in each side now, I can write one half. I'm just gonna write it on one side. And then I'm going to make quarters. So I already know where my middle is, so I'm just gonna use that same part again and go as straight as I can down the middle of the circle. And I have now got two quarters. So in here, I'm going to draw one quarter, just like I did with the cake. And just like I did with the cake again, I'm going to make an eighth, which is half of a quarter. I think that is about an eighth. It doesn't matter if it's perfect, as long as you have the right amount of um, shapes. So I've got one eighth, one quarter here, 
which means that would be one eighth. I'll do one more, just in case you want a little bit of a challenge. If you can have a guess what the next one's gonna be, you can do that now. So I'm gonna cut my eighth in half, like that. And this one will be one sixteenth. So if you're looking at the numbers, you can see the smaller the denominator is, the bigger the fraction of my shape is gonna be. So one half is double the size of my quarter, just like one quarter is double the size of my eighth, and my eighth is double the size of my sixteenth. And if you wanna cut it into more pieces, then you can try that yourself. So I'm gonna cut my shape out now, and then I'm gonna show you my different amounts. So what I've done, just to save some time on the video, is I've made some more resources just to help me explain. Remember, you can make as many of these resources as you can, to help with your learning, uh, but this is the video to help you, so you don't have to if you don't want to or if you don't have the resources. Uh, so I'm just gonna carry on now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order them from smallest to largest. So I know that my smallest fraction that I have here is 1 16th. So I'm gonna put that on here, on this side, and I know that that is my smallest because if I look at them, this is the smallest out of all of the pieces. Now my next uh, fraction is gonna be 1 8th. And I know this is the next um, biggest, sorry, the next smallest, because it's half of 16, the number, but the fraction is uh, more because the size of my fraction is double. So that means my next fraction is gonna be a quarter. And finally, my biggest fraction is 1 half. Now, like I said earlier, the smaller the number is on the bottom, on your denominator, the bigger your fraction is gonna be. So my smallest denominator here is two. That's why my half is the biggest fraction. My smallest, sorry, my largest denominator is 16. So that means my fraction is the smallest. All right, now we're gonna look at how to make one using these fractions. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two halves together, which as you can see, make one whole. So I'm just gonna show you loads of different ways to make one whole. So that's one way. Another way is by having quarters, and you might have guessed that four quarters makes one whole. So one thing that you might notice is when you're making a whole, if I count how many quarters I have, one, two, three, four, the number that I need is exactly the same as the amount of my denominator. So if I was gonna use eighths, at the moment I've got four eighths, and that makes one half. So four makes a half, I would need four more to make a whole, which is eight. So that means I would need eight eighths to make a whole. And the same with my sixteenths. If I use eight, which is how many I've made, that would give me half of my whole. So if I do that and just try and put them as neatly as possible, it makes the same which is a half, and that's eight of them. So if I had eight more, which is 16, I would have a whole. So whatever number I've got in my denominator, I would need that many of that fraction to make one whole. What I'm gonna show you now is another way to make them. So one half and two quarters would make one whole. I can also do one half, one quarter, and two eighths would make one whole. I can even do one half, one quarter, one eighth, and two sixteenths to make a whole. Okay, so when you make your own resources, you can experiment with loads of different ways to make one whole, or maybe you could even try and make two holes. So you can make as many resources as you can to experiment with your fractions. So 
right here I've got loads of different fractions, but if I wanted to write this down as a number, all I would write down is the number two, because I've got two holes here. One more thing I'm gonna do is just show you on a whiteboard what it looks like compared to one hole. So just like I did before with my halves, two halves would equal one hole. And on top of those, I'm gonna put my quarters. One, two, oh, where's my other quarter? One, two, three, four quarters is the same as a whole and is also the same as two halves. And just like I showed with before, I would need eight eighths to make um, a whole. So four eighths is the same as one half. And then my sixteenths would be, like I explained earlier, um, I would need 16 to make one whole and eight to make one half. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. That was just a little recap on fractions. In the next video, we'll go into a little bit more detail uh, but that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed the video and watch the next one please.